Hey guys, what's going on? Amazing to here, bringing you the 25 years into the future edition of this fast forward through time in the football world. This is 2044, 28th of June 2044 to be precise. This is 25 years into our future. If you've not seen the 10 years into the future video, the 2029 one, the links for both of those are down below. Not a huge amount of surprises in the uh, league structure for that one. Um, here on remanaged Norwich at one point. Spoilers. Um, and not a lot of surprises in there. The top six largely untouched. So we're looking for a little bit more surprise in this 2044 edition. And yeah, even on this least non-spoilery page I can find, you've seen it. You've seen it. Uh, it's right here. Yeah, okay. Let's... Mm, mm, let's find out how this worked and happened. Let's go back to stages and see where we are for the past season this is this is what this is what's going on here this is the 20 teams in the premier league right now um let's find out how we end up here we're going to go back to where we left off i'm going to just leave you leave you leave you working out how southampton ended up winning the premier league here so last we met we were in 28 29 this is how it was nothing real surprising here we've got middlesbrough up here nottingham forest and in fact with norwich and swansea being relegated they're the only real uh interlopers from plus whoever gets promoted of course from the championship but if they're teams that are already been relegated at some point then that wouldn't be surprising but Watford got relegated actually I would say Watford had done really well they were sort of banging around this 6th and 7th for a lot 6th 7th 8th for a long while you see actually Southampton here in ninth, and doing reasonably right for the most part um and then they got relegated no idea how that happened but Here's the first season in the this part of the save, the 29-30. Nottingham doing it right. I think Bournemouth returned to the Premier League at this point. They got relegated. Yeah, Bournemouth are one of the returnees. West Brom being another returnee. And actually, uh, I'm not sure who the third returnee here is. Is it Wolves? No, Wolves are there. Uh, I'm going to work it out now. West Brom, Cardiff are already there. Bournemouth... Leicester. It's Leicester. Leicester are the other returnee. They did quite well uh, getting straight up to 10th. Now, Newcastle here banging up, banging up on 7th. Southampton. Now, we've got to pay attention to Southampton because we know they're the current holders in 2044. Uh, Newcastle have done all right the past few seasons. I can see 6th, 7th, 7th, and then the 9th here. So Newcastle have been that sort of Europa League spot provided the top six win the FA Cup or what have you. Um... Uh, so they've been consistently potentially getting that European football. Now they're only t they're ten points off here, and they only beat out Southampton on goal difference. But that's a really atrocious uh, goal difference for the rest of the league. There, eighth onwards, all in negative goal difference. That's appalling. Um, but nice to see Newcastle with a positive goal difference, I suppose. <laughs> in general, um, so yeah, a couple of promoted teams getting relegated. That's not real surprises. That Cardiff, Middlesbrough haven't been up here too long. Nottingham Forest doing all right here. Not going to dwell on not going to dwell on this too long actually. If we're if we're honest. I'm just going to look at the top and look at the bottom. Uh, Man United winning that one by the way. Liverpool winning this one. Top six back to normal. Newcastle dropping off. Wolves Southampton still here. Peters Norwich got re-promoted. Uh, oh, here's the big first surprise. I say big first surprise. They were seventeenth the previous season. Um, but Everton, one of the Premier League stalwarts. Um, that only leaves. Man, bear in mind, Man City got relegated at one point. That only leaves these five teams as the only teams who have been in the Premier League for the entirety of the Premier League. Um, so Everton relegated. That's that's the first big that's the first big casualty. Um, every other team Premier League store up the up the top here. So everyone else here is all being relegated at one point. So or just started below there, I guess. But Norwich back and survived. That's nice to see. Uh, Liverpool winning by 13 points. That's a dominating win by Liverpool. Less dominating, but still a win. Newcastle again in seventh. Like, hang on. I was going to say, I was supposed to say, have Arsenal been sixth? Arsenal are arsenaling right now in the Europa League. Uh, Man United there, Tottenham in that one. But yeah, Newcastle was against seventh. Southampton in eighth. I must say, Huddersfield, for the most part, I've done all right here. Um, there was a period in the sort of the ten years say where Huddersfield were sort of uh, sort of hovering around this eighth and ninth, and then got relegated for no apparent reason. Um, it looks like they might, hopefully they don't do that again. Oh, now I just got relegated. 
Oh, yeah. Just a uh, quick reminder, Newcastle, Norwich and Lincoln are my three teams, just for family and most personally. Uh, connections. So, Everton did get promoted and then relegated again. Um, Arsenal are down in eighth, which means Watford, after being relegated, have returned to the Premier League and ended up in sixth. Were they there the previous season? Yeah, they were. Um, New Liverpool again, winning on goal difference. But yeah, three Liverpool wins in a row. Four Liverpool wins in a row. Uh, Norwich have returned and got 11th. That's pretty good going on their part. Burnley, Middlesbrough, not really a lot of surprises down here. Same teams getting promoted and relegated. Although, hang on, I've just noticed. I've just noticed we've had the first major break into the top six. Bear in mind that we've had... what? Well, hang on, I was going to say major break. I think well, no, Watford was sixth again. Uh, Watford and Newcastle have had a sixth place... have had sixth place finishes. This is the first major break in here. Third. Newcastle in third. I must say, Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest have been in the Premier League for a while now. Um, they got promoted in the first season that we just had on here. So it's about three, four seasons at this point. Nottingham Forest have been randomly chosen over Norwich after both teams finishing on 46 points with the same record. With the amount of, with that, with the amount of prize money, that's on... Wow, that is actually... That is literally identical. Do they not go on head-to-head -head or do they just win one each? Uh, Nottingham Forest won away at Norwich. And... Did Norwich win away at Forest? Yes. <laughs> they both won away at each other, I think. No, hang on. Yeah, they must have done. They must have done. Um, that is remarkable. Anyway, sorry, moving on. Um, not even alphabetical. I'd even prefer that to be alphabetical. But the amount of, amount of money that one place makes a difference of, that's really cool. Even Norwich, really. The, the third place, Newcastle. Liverpool still winning the league. Liverpool still winning the league. Ninth place, Newcastle, but they did have the Champions League to contend with, so that might have been the problem. Hello, this might be the first move. This might be the first move for Southampton. Now in that sixth place from Watford, uh, Bournemouth, and then Tottenham down in tenth. Tottenham on the slide. Everton have returned. Norwich slightly lower down than last season, but Nottingham Forest still hanging around that mid table. Liverpool. Oh my God, is that was that six years in a row? Liverpool. I mean, even if you don't win the. Just a quick reminder, uh, this simulated Man City winning from Arsenal. So there was a bit of a bit of a surprise, a bit of a difference there. The only real difference in the first, this actual current season simulated, the bottom three that went down were most likely to be the bottom three to go down at this point. It was Cardiff, Huddersfield and Fulham. Um, it did have Man City winning from three points from Arsenal. So it was a tight run race even in that in the simulation, but it was Liverpool. Liverpool were fourth and Arsenal were third. Uh, second, sorry. Again, bottom of the table is not really a surprise. Been. Southampton has slipped after getting the Europe, Europe so, uh, Newcastle top six back to normal, but Liverpool winning by a good 14 points again. Love my this domination is 16 points this time. Southampton banning back in sixth, Newcastle in seventh, hot on them in 11th. Nine Forest finally relegated. Actually, that's a major drop considering how well they were doing in mid table for a very long while. Huddersfield in eighth, though. Leeds have popped up back in the Premier League for a while and been relegated. Norwich still hanging on. Norwich still there. I'm just, I'm just waiting to see how long it takes for Norwich to get relegated at this point because I'm dreading it. Newcastle back in third again. The so Newcastle have reclaimed a third place finish. Southampton in seventh, Tottenham in eighth. So Tottenham are the ones that are still suffering at this point. Everton have returned. I don't know how long they've been there. I haven't been paying that much attention. But Liverpool still winning the league. I'm going to have to look at the overall the uh, winners. Bloody hell. This is ridiculous with Liverpool. Norwich in level though. Maintaining a, uh, maintaining a hold in this mid-table. Wolves have uh, been relegated after a little while in the Premier League. Nottingham Forest returned immediately, though. Uh, and then Newcastle in third again. Newcastle have maintained that third place. Arsenal losing out, incidentally, on this one. Uh, one, point, one point ahead, though. Norwich a little bit further down, leads back in Premier League. Tottenham down in 13th. The slide has started, maybe. Are Tottenham going to be the big, the first top six casualty? Oh, hello. I say, to are Tottenham going to be the big top six casualty? I've not, paid, I've not noticed this. We're only in 2039 2040 here. Southampton have won it. Southampton have won it here. Man City, Liverpool, Man United, Newcastle in fifth, still taking this top six. Is this the first major, first shake-up for the top six? I say Newcastle. This, while Southampton have won this, I think Newcastle, we can maybe class as the first major shake-up to the top six here um, because they're the, one that, well, they're the ones that have consistently been in this top six over the past few years. But Tottenham down in 13th, that's really, really bad. New, Norwich hanging around still. Nice to see. And literally not moved. Southampton is second, but Liverpool ret retain dominance at the top here. Uh, Newcastle down in fourth, but still in the top six. Man City losing out on the top six this time, and Tottenham on eight. So they've kind of recovered a little bit. 
Uh, bottom of the table, not really that much surprising at this point. Not really seeing any major surprises in terms of promotions into the Premier League. We've not had any sort of League One, League Two surprises as of yet. But Liverpool went in again. Southampton in second. Man United fourth. Newcastle in fifth. This top, this this sort of new tops. It's almost like a new top seven. Everton up in eighth. They've kind of returned a little bit here. It's almost like a new top seven with Tottenham being a little bit away from, a little bit sort of away from this at this point now. So it's almost like a top seven that rotating here. Uh, especially with uh, Southampton. Uh, Man United this time from Southampton, Liverpool, Chelsea, Newcastle still in fifth. Newcastle just sort of missing out consistently here, but getting oh hello. I'll just say the bottom end, of, bottom end of this. Norwich have been relegated finally. I think they've had a good solid ten years. Um, I think they've had a good solid ten years, eight, ten years, eight, nine, something like that years in the Premier League. I may have to have a look at their look at their overalls on the uh, next video where I'll probably go in a little bit more depth to see how long they spent up here. But Southampton, as you can see here, this is the previous season. This is the last season that has been simulated. Southampton at the top, Man City, United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Newcastle here in seventh. But like I said, it does look like it's, it does look like it's now a top seven. But like I say, with Tottenham just being a little bit cut adrift at this point. Uh, it doesn't look like Norwich got immediately... Oh, I don't mind you. Actually, no, Norwich wouldn't be being promoted, would they? I may just have a quick look at the... Uh, I will remember to look at the uh, top four divisions in total now. I just see if Norwich have immediately won and got re-promoted back in the next season here, just because they look like they were, look like they were sticking around for a while. Uh, Wolves though looks like they got re-promoted immediately and then got relegated again. Uh, Stoke Leeds have popped up again here, but not a lot of surprises. These the teams that teams get like, sort of popping up in the Premier League here have largely been Championship teams as of 2019. So. Not a lot of surprises here, other than Cardiff have now just sort of done a 52-point to 10th place finish here. So maybe we'll see Cardiff around for a while. Maybe we'll get a bit of a Welsh presence for a long period of time in the Premier League. Which would be nice to see, really. Uh, but Newcastle are all sort of just dotting around this... I mean, provided one of these teams won in the FA Cup, they've still got Euro Europa League. To, uh, I feel like Europa League still dates me. It's just called Euro League at this point, isn't it? Um, so we will just have a nosy down the, uh, nosy down the division now, so... Oh, actually, no. One thing I was going to do real quick. Uh, past winners, just to see how long Liverpool actually won that in a row. So this is where we dropped off with this Chelsea win here. So Man United win it once, and then Liverpool one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years in a row, broken by Southampton, and then two more. So they won 11 of the 15 seasons that followed. Yeah, they won 11 of the 15 seasons that followed. Man United won two of them. Southampton won two of them. But this is what I like to see here. Newcastle with three third place finishes in that timeline. Looks like uh, my looks like my middle age period is going to be a good time to be a Newcastle supporter. But we'll just pop down to the Championship. It doesn't look like the Norwich got promoted because the upcoming season they're still here. Um, hello. This is good to see for me personally. Oh, I didn't even see Huddersfield get relegated. So how did the previous season finish? So we've got Nottingham Forest, Swansea and Fulham being promoted. So it's still a lot of surprise. Not a lot of surprise at the top here. Um, Plymouth in 10th though. They've got promoted to the Championship. I'm not sure how common that is for them. Notts County have got up to the Championship. Uh, Lincoln have got up to the Championship and actually stayed there. I may actually have a quick note in Lincoln just because they are my home team. They're the one I actually care about the most in these kind of things. Uh, after Newcastle. Norwich is my mum's team. Uh... Oh, so it looks like they got. It looks like they spent a lot of time in the championship over this middle period, and then got relegated a couple of years ago, and then immediately re-promoted. So, and then ended up with thirteen. So that's nice to see. And then they sort of become a championship team. Five point two million in the bank. All right. Well played. <laughs> oh, Argentina. <laughs> I thought I just saw Argentina player worth four point eight million. That's all right. Six million, six million Spaniard. That's ridiculous. I mean, okay. <laughs> so this is what they took next. This is how that season, last finished, uh, last season finished. Norwich were in the promotion spots, but they didn't get promoted. And it probably would have been a bit harsh for them to have been because they were a good fourteen points behind. Oh, well, a good seventeen points behind uh, third place. So that would have maybe been a bit harsh for. Them. Either of those two to get promoted, any of these three really to be promoted over these. I oh, know. Sorry, tell a lie. What we're talking about? It'll be these four in the playoff spots. No, it's just missed out. I swear I can read. Sunderland, Sunderland pop back up in the championship though, as a Portsmouth. So nice to see these teams maybe making a bit of a return. Oh, Aston Villa being relegated to the League One. And 
let's have a look at League One, see if there's been any major casualties. Derby down here. Uh, Ipswich, that's not that much of a surprise considering. Uh, Blackpool, none of the people are being re-relegated. Oh, Forest Green, worth mentioning, because they were in the Championship as of the 10-year season. Let's see how long they've been down here. Uh, if, or if it's just a recent... It's taken a tiny bit of a time to reload it. No, it looks like they've been down here for a while now. Um, they were relegated in... 2033. Actually, they were relegated. They were actually relegated immediately in the following season because they had a few seasons in the championship and then they were relegated in the first simulated season after the 10 year save. Then took two years to get back, spent two years up there, and then two years down, three years back down here, one year immediately, and then they've been in League One ever since. So it doesn't look like Forest Green are going to be the first surprise into the uh, first prize into the Premier League. They looks like they've been stuck back down in League One for a little while now, and actually Paris is close to being relegated back to League Two from whence they came. Uh, looks like Coventry back in League Two next season, though. I maybe they'll make a push back to the Premier League from where they once were in my childhood. Coventry teams like Bradford, Coventry, um, Leeds—they're all teams I like to I would like to see back in the Premier League. It's because they—they were there in my childhood. Leeds, Bradford used to be a Premier League fixture. Crazy how 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 times have changed since then. Have a quick look at League Two, see if there's been any major casualties at the bottom end of this. Um, Bolton still down here. That was the previous season, but it looks like Bolton were down here the previous season anyway. Because um, yeah, okay. AFC Wimbledon have been regular. AFC Wimbledon have been relegated out of the football league. Dagenham Redbridge, dear lord, that was an atrocious season from Dagenham Redbridge. Uh, File York is York have found around the National North at the start of this save, so they've gone up two divisions at this point. I know that much because I did start a save with them uh, personally. In pro, you know, before I started doing this video, uh, actually about three weeks before, three weeks ago, I had to start saving them just to see if I could get them pushed up. I might, I might think about doing an actual on on YouTube save with York at some point. I don't know. Uh, might have to go slightly higher up because I, I might have to go slightly higher up for a um, a committed save on YouTube or Twitch just because I don't know how much time I will have to dedicate to that save. So may not have to. I may have to go. May have to think a little bit higher up just to see. Just obviously because then may need slightly less of a challenge, as it were. Um, but Mansfield in fifth, nothing real surprising here. We'll have a quick nosy at the other top leagues. League, mm. I don't know why I always say league. Mm. Oh, I've just, seen, I've just seen holders PSG. We'll just go past winners for this. Where did we leave off? Here, Monaco winning, Monaco, 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 Marseille winning three in a row, pass, PSG, Monaco, Monaco, PSG. It looks like, actually, it looks like PSG have only just returned to uh, dominance. But I do spot here, they team that I did uh, pick, uh, did, uh, did draw attention to last time round. Andrews SEO, because they were in fourth here, uh, or third here, I should say. Um, actually, this was the last season we had them in. They were fourth in this season here, Twenty. When he, no, yeah, they were fourth in this season when Olympic Marseille they were third. Um, they did get third that season and they've got second here, so it doesn't look like they've hung around that top position. This is the first break into the top three here. I'm not going to go through season to season on this lot, um, but this is how the next season is going to line up for that. I can't really see... Let me just actually just have a quick look at the final uh, previous season just to see if there have been any major... Uh, Grenoble up in fifth, that's a bit of a bit of a push from them, but not a lot of going on here. Let's have a look at Spain. I don't know if I got that clicked or not. Or if it's just taken a there we are. Hello. So there has been a bit of a shift here. I could see it straight away. We have Tenerife in the top four. Uh, let's have a look at the Previous 15 seasons, 15 seasons, sorry, 15 seasons. Uh, we left off here with Barcelona winning. Atletico Madrid had done a hurry in the previous 10 years here. But Barcelona Madrid have had, Real Madrid have just gone ballistic on this. A few Barcelona's in between, but Real Madrid have just dominated, with Barcelona usually second. However, last five seasons, Tenerife third, oh, six seasons, actually, Tenerife third, Tenerife third, Bilbao third, Tenerife second, Tenerife third, Tenerife third, Tenerife second. What is going on with Tenerife here? I do have to have a quick nosy of this. This is something I may have to go look into depth in a little bit more next time around. Um, manager is this person. They have a lot of money in the bank. 
I can't actually see back if they started in. I can't remember if they started in League Two, uh, Spanish League Two, uh, Division Two, but they've just had a sort of bounced around the middle for a while and then just had a steady promotion. So I do wonder if this there's some kind of major major event that's happened with them. But Tenerife are in the Champions League, have been for the past several little while here. Uh, players worth 60, 50 million, 50, 60, 70, even nearly 70 million there. So, yeah, doing all right. I like to see that. This is the, maybe one of the first major shifts in, well, I mean, obviously, apart from Southampton and Newcastle a little bit in the Premier League, this is one of the first major shifts in European football. France hasn't really had a lot of that. We will not have a quick nosy at Syria, of course. Oh, I literally just wrote the word Syria instead. Just has to think about it a little bit. Um, that nah, doesn't look. European football Fiorentina. They must have won a cup here. Um, that's a little bit disappointing. I've just seen Palmer in the relegation spots. Oh no, Palermo. I think it may have been that. I've had notched their way a little bit higher last time we looked. Uh, 2029, Juventus had a bit of a domination, but Inter Lazio returned a little bit of a return to Lazio here. Inter the Milan's, uh, Milan's finding out Fiorentina win a couple. That's a little bit of a little bit of a breakthrough. Breakthrough, but not entirely. There we are, Palermo fourth here. Um, I can say they were they were knocking about a little bit, Palermo, when we left off in 2029, but haven't really seemed to make major inroads. But actually, Juventus have not won it in the past 15 years. Looks like it's been a bit of a straight fight between the Milans for a while, apart from one Lazio and two Fiorentinas. Uh, Roma have got a second place in all, all this. Uh, Fiorentina actually been there or thereabouts for most part, and then there's a Palermo here, and Roma with a third. So we'll just have a quick, I mean, I was supposed to have a quick look, quick look at the previous season, but this is the previous season because it's still in June. It's not kicked over yet. But it has, the season has finished. Uh, none of these look major surprises. Perugia, I know, Serie B at the start of this. Can't really see any major, major shifts. Udinese, maybe. Sassuolo normally do all right. They seem to have dropped off a little bit. Um, no major casualties, as far as I can tell. Inter, Juventus, Roma, Milan, Lazio, Napoli. Um, Fiorentina, all the sort of major players are still here for Serie A. I'll have a look at Bundesliga. Bundesliga is second, by the way, in the in this uh, situation. League one, league, uh, league one, uh, Liga, uh, usually fifth at this point. So it looks like Serie A has dropped to fifth, and then Bundesliga has overtaken Spanish division as well. Actually, Bundesliga was top at one point. Um, you can see they were third there, and then went straight to first. So. We will have to look at... Hello. I've just seen past winners as a surprise here. Arthur BSC has won this previous one. Uh, looks like we've had three years of Leipzig after we left off with two Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Dortmund have a few third places there. Bayern Schalke with a bit of dominance here. The Bayern... A bit more Bayern. Borussia Mönchengladbach taking a win. Schalke again, Bayern again. And Hertha Berlin taking a win as well. Um... Perth are, Perth are maybe a bit of a surprise here. Hoffenheim getting a second place. It's one of those teams that end... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Stages. Um, we'll have a look at last season. Kaiser Slaughter and making a way. Werder Bremen being relegated. That, that, that's a Dynamo Dresden. Dynamo Dresden is one of those teams I am tempted to do a uh, series with. Just because I adore the name Dynamo Dresden. <laughs> uh, they have a good kit as well. They're one of those kits I uh, like, to play, like to use on FIFA. Uh, but Dortmund down in ninth is maybe a bit of a surprise. 47 points. We'll maybe see if what's happened there. Wolfsburg up in sixth. I'd like to see that. Uh, it looks like Hanover have vanished, which is a bit unfortunate. Hanover, one of those European teams I like to pay attention to. Um, but the top six, with the, maybe the exception of Kern in here, that's a bit of a push from them. Maybe. Uh, but Hamburger, SV, Stuttgart, Dortmund, by Leverkusen, they're all teams that would you would expect to be sort of challenging this top end. Uh, Wolfsburg are usually there or thereabouts, maybe. Uh, Schalke, Munch, and Blank, Black. I mean, these are all teams you're not, you're not surprised to see in Europe. I Germ the German European places are quite competitive with teams like Hoffenheim, uh, Stuttgart, Hamburg, SV, Borussia Dortmund, Bayer Leverkusen. You expect to maybe see these two a little bit higher up. But Leipzig have made a push recently. Gladbach, you don't not surprised. Schalke, of course, have won it recently as well. Uh, Wolfsburg. But Hartha Berlin is probably a bit of a surprise here. Maybe we'll see if they can maintain that position. Well, Werder Bremen as well. I think you won't be surprised to see them in Europe every now and then. 
Um, they've got a lot of competition for European places, but it's usually a, a fight between Bayern and Dortmund for the title, as, as you can see this season in real life. Um, but those are sort of the major things. I may just have a quick, quick nose at the FA Cup uh, on this one, because this is something I probably ought to do in in this one. We'll just have a look at past winners. 15 seasons, top six winners all the way through. Apart from uh, something in Forest in the second place. Yeah, that's a bit dull, really. Um, Bournemouth, at this point, may not have been a Premier League team. I'm not entirely certain. And Forest, at this point, may not have been a Premier League team. I can't remember when they got relegated. I know they were in the Premier League for a while. Not a lot of luck in there. Carabao, of course, probably would have been... Probably had a new, probably would have had a new sponsor at this point. If I have a bit of a drop in their reputation. Uh, 15 years. No real surprises. Southampton, Huddersfield in the second place here, but... Yeah, the cup's a bit boring. We will just do a quick nosy at the World Cup as well, and the Euros. Last we saw off was this ridiculous World Cup, Denmark, Romania. Uh, France, Brazil, England in a third. Switzerland win a World Cup. Portugal, Brazil. France, two more with Colombia, Russia, Germany, Mexico. Mexico with a very valiant third there. Russia with a valiant third here, with Colombia with a really good second, actually. But a little bit more France here. Um... I kind of expect maybe France to have challenged for that one a little bit more than they did, but they didn't. Not a lot of ridiculousness. We might go a little bit more in depth with those in the uh, next part of this. And then Euros. Like these, the, the stories the stories behind these uh, figures is probably something we're going to look at in the second part of this a little bit more. Just going to look at the facts for now. I'll just put Euro, Euro. Oh, Champions League. Forgot about the Champions League. 15 years. More Champions League. Barcelona, Liverpool. Barcelona, Man United, PSG, Man United. And like I say, I mean, last time around we had a lot of English presence. I think again here we've not got a year without. There you go, here's a year without uh, English presence. Just one of them though, because Chelsea, Liverpool, Bayern, another one here. Man United win it twice with Chelsea. Actually, two, three, three all English. Southampton win the Champions League. This was absolutely all English because it's Southampton, Liverpool at Old Trafford. Um, Southampton win the Champions League, folks. There we go. That's a major shake up in world football in general. And. Well, now we have to actually look at Euro Cup uh, and the Euros, because I kind of forgot about the European competitions a little bit there. Newcastle win it twice. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Glad back. Arsenal here. PSG. PSG Man City as a Euro Cup final. That's dumb. Inter. Uh, Tottenham win it against Hertha. <laughs> Man City lose to Hertha. Southampton win this at one point. Man United. Three years of winners. Newcastle beat Chelsea in the uh, Euro Cup final. Real San Sebastian win one of these. That's kind of a nice turn up. Newcastle and then Man City, the most recent winner after Sporting. So we'll actually have a look at the European, I think it's called the European Football Championship on this. There we are. A quick nosy at that as well. Uh, so last time we left off, we would have been Spain, France, France. Nothing real looking here. Germany, England against Denmark. Spain against, uh, we'll have a quick look at the uh, second round three for this, seeing what England's route to the final was. 4-2, thrilling final. Well, this is never going to happen, is it? England beat Germany on penalties. England beat Ireland in the round of 16. And England beat Switzerland. This is a very, very storyful uh, route to the final of winning this. I did have to look at that one, because of course it's England that win. Denmark 5-1, Portugal, blimey. My... We have to look into this Denmark team, actually, going forward. But England beat Ireland, England beat Germany on penalties, and then England beat Denmark in the final to win the European Championship in 2036. I want to say this. We are in 2044, but it hasn't quite got to the 2044 uh, Championship. So that will be one we look at in the next next batch. So yeah, it's just, just due to happen, actually. So that will be one we see in the 50-year video. But, that being said, uh, there will be a part two to this where maybe we delve into a few more stories in this. We may delve into that Lincoln a bit more. We may delve into, uh, obviously, the managers. Uh, the Southampton story, of course. We may have to delve into what happened there. Um, and the Tenerife, of course. We'll just have to delve into that Tenerife a little bit more as well. So if there's anything, any particular teams that you want to have a look at, of course, what happened to Everton as well? Uh, how did they get relegated? Um that might be something we look at as well. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the movers and shakers that have gone on here 
uh, maybe have a look at that Denmark team as well just to see because they popped up a few times in the uh, there or thereabouts over the world football in general. We might see what's happened happened there as well. See if there's been a good Denmark stock uh, at some point. <laughs> so let me know if there's anything you want to see in the next part of this in the comments down below. But for now, I've been amazing to you. You've been amazing too. Until next time, we're out.